Success is predictable, so you can literally plan success. I am successful today in my life, globally impacting millions of people, because I made a decision as a teenager as to what I want to be and do. And it's the same reason why people fail. Success is predictable, and success is, is predictable because life is designed for your success. But failure is also predictable because failure is the same result as success. Let me explain what I mean. God designed everything he created to be successful. You will never see a bird who cannot fly naturally. You'll never see a fish who cannot swim naturally. Every seed, if you put it in the ground and give it water, you don't need to pray. It is designed to bring forth a tree. Everything God created has built into it its own success. And if the plant is here today and gone tomorrow, how much more important are you to God? The average human being does not know why they're on planet Earth. They wake up every morning, go into a job they hate, working with people they don't like, getting paid less than they're worth, and dying too young from frustration because they don't know why they exist. Without a purpose, life has no meaning. It has no sense of destiny, no sense of precision. The average human on earth have no idea about their ability. 90% of the human population will die and never achieve more than 10% of their true ability. And this is the frustration of all humans. Every human wants to be successful. I have never met any human who said, I plan to fail tomorrow. No human wants to fail. Am I right? Everybody wants to succeed. But I have some good news for you. Write this down. Success is predictable. What is my destination? Everyone wants to know, what is my future? Where am I going in the next 20 years, 40 years? What will I be when I am 75 or 82? What is my destiny? The greatest tragedy in life is life without a purpose. Nothing is worse than being alive and not knowing why. Breathing oxygen and eating food and getting energy and don't know why you have it. To live for 80 years and still didn't know why you were here. That's a tragedy. Your success is important to God. God needs you to succeed. When I discovered this, I became very bold. I put pressure on God. I discovered this when I was 17 years old. I discovered that God needed me to succeed because success is built in to creation by every manufacturer. Success is important to every manufacturer who makes a product. So the success of the product is necessary to protect the reputation of the company. So the worst thing that can happen to a manufacturer is when his product fails. His entire reputation and company can be destroyed. So success is necessary for the manufacturer. You are a product. And the first thing the manufacturer placed on you is his image. The manufacturer says, let us make a product in our image. Oh, come on. If you got the image, lift your hand and shout hallelujah. The first thing he put on you is the most important thing to him. His image. You are just like the manufacturer. That means your failure is bad for God. I have come with good news. You cannot fail anymore. God has to guarantee your success not to protect you. God has to make sure that the vision he gives you succeeds because his reputation is on the line. 
So when you read the Bible, all through the Bible, God would say these to his people. He would say, even though you are stiff-necked, you complain. He said, I will prosper you, and I will restore you, and I will heal you, and I will redeem you. Listen, for my name. Come on, clap them hands and scream hallelujah. No matter where you are right now in your life, I promise you, I guarantee you that you are coming out of your situation. Not for your name's sake, but for his name's sake. Clap your hands and thank God he's the manufacturer. You cannot fail in your business. This is why if he told you to go to university, don't worry about tuition. If he told you to build a business, you have the ability. If he told you to build a church, you have the ability. If he told you to go into politics, you have the ability. If he told you to be a lawyer, you have the ability. If he told you to be a teacher, you have the ability. If he told you to build a school, you have the ability. Whatever he told you, he will do it for his name. Somebody scream hallelujah. That's why it's important to announce what God told you. When you make it public, you put pressure on it. Oh, come on, young man. You got to talk about your vision. You got to talk about your dream and tell everybody, God told me this. God told me this. God told me this. And he has to protect his reputation. Clap your hands and scream hallelujah. So stop being afraid to believe your dream. This ain't your dream, it's his dream. Your success is for God. So he has to make sure you succeed. That's why I am so bold. You know, when you discover who you are, you make announcements we can't pay for. Stop waiting for money before you make announcements. When he tells you, tell everybody. When you tell him, it puts pressure. You've probably heard this many times before. You have the potential to do anything you want and to become whoever you decide to become. You are capable of fulfilling all of your dreams and desires. Every single one of them. You're the only one who can stop yourself from succeeding in life. Now that you have been told it is possible you can achieve whatever you want in life, do you believe? Do you believe that it's possible for you to create your own dream life? Not the life that you were given when you were born, but your own dream life. What's stopping you from achieving it? What's stopping you from turning your dreams into reality? 